Well, hello everybody out there in the internet land. This is Chris from HLegacy.com with another exciting episode of Topher's Log. Uh, so, you know, guys, there's a lot of uncertainty going on uh, right now uh, in the world, um, you know, uh, especially when it comes to, uh, you know, the whole Horror Night situation. Nobody knows for sure, and nobody is going to know for sure until they uh, officially announce whether the event is going to get canceled or not. Um, full disclosure, uh, I kind of believe that the event will get canceled. I do not see a world uh, in which, at this point, if you were to ask me today uh, if the event was going to continue, I'd tell you no. Uh, I think that the event, along with other events at the, at the theme parks, will be canceled. You know, Food and Wine, Mickey's Not So Scary, uh, all that stuff I do not think are actually going to be a thing this year. I think that everything will not happen. Uh, I don't want to dwell on this too much, uh, but, uh, but I am going to continue uh, to speculate along with uh, you guys at home as if the event were going to happen so uh, you know that's not um, uh, that that will uh, that will be a thing <laughs> uh, I also want to throw out uh, I've mentioned in the past that uh, I have written uh, a bunch of uh, my own uh, house treatments uh, for uh, for Horror Nights uh, you know for myself uh, you know everything from original houses to my own uh, sort of ideas for um, uh, you know, for uh, uh, IP properties as well. Um, I have pulled out a lot of those ideas and I have basically created my own uh, Horror Nights uh, for this year. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it up to you guys, uh, my loyal followers who do follow me every week, uh, you know, watch my videos. Um, if you want me to, uh, I can reveal my event uh, I can do it systematically. I can do it, uh, you know, in uh, maybe like a couple of different uh, uh, dump videos. Um, you know, maybe we come to a point where Horror Nights is, is canceled. Uh, at least I have uh, a version of an event uh, that we can uh, uh, sort of play around with um, and uh, pretend like it's actually happening. I do have that in my back pocket. So um, if you guys want that uh, that to happen, uh, you can. Um, the one thing that I've, I've, uh, I've wanted to do but didn't get around to doing um, is actually doing key art uh, for all the uh, houses and the scare zones and stuff. Uh, you know, my event uh, does have 10 houses and 5 scare zones. I'm not going to reveal the number of shows right now because uh, there is at least one show, I can tell you that. Uh, but um, uh, but five, uh, 5 scare zones, 10 houses. I did not do key art. Uh, I did not have the time uh, to create key art for them or at least do key art and make them look good. <laughs> uh, but I do have the, uh, uh, I've, I, like I said, I've pulled out my treatments. Um, and they are ready to go. Uh, if you want me to reveal my uh, my fictitious event, then I can do that. But anyway, we're gonna move on from that. We're gonna actually talk about uh, some speculation uh, that that did occur or has occurred. Uh, like I said, we'll push the Rona stuff uh, push the Rona stuff aside and and, and move forward. Uh, one of the uh, consistent rumors this year is a another Universal Classic Monsters house. Um, and I I said last year uh, I love the Universal Classic Monsters. They are my my probably one of my favorite, if not my my the favorite uh, horror uh, uh, anything that I that that I go to. I love the Universal Classic Monsters. And when it comes to Horror Nights, I love when Horror Nights actually uses the monsters. I don't think they use the monsters enough. Um, you know, some people think they use them too much, but uh, for here in Orlando, uh, I don't think that they use the monsters uh, enough. And the persistent rumor this year is that we're going to get another Universal Classic Monsters house. Uh, but uh, that it's going to be geared more towards um, sort of the uh, the female uh, persuasion of the monsters. Bride of Frankenstein, uh, and also uh, Dracula's Brides were thrown in there, uh, you know, for good measure, I guess. Um, I don't think they do a full-fledged, uh, you know, Bride of Frankenstein house. I think you sort of do your own version, like uh, last year when they did the uh, uh, the Frankenstein versus Wolfman house uh, over there uh, in Hollywood. They did their own sort of version of that, um, you know, and I think that that could work in this situation. I like the idea of using the bride uh, as a uh, as an anchor point for a house. I think uh, the whole, you know, girl power thing, I think that that's a good thing. Um, the Billy Eilish thing that we talked about, of course, that rumor won't go away either. Uh, that sort of carried over into this house. Uh, I'm not going to reveal what I've heard. Uh, or maybe not have heard about that, if that's true or not true. Uh, but um, uh, the persistent rumor is that the the Billie Eilish music thing uh, is actually the soundtrack to this house. They've sort of taken uh, her music and given, uh, you know, um, uh, put it as the soundtrack for uh, this, whatever this uh, female Bride of Frankenstein, uh, you know, Dracula's Bride sort of thing is. Um, I think that's a good fit. 
that's I'm gonna leave it there. I think that if that was the case, I think that would be a great fit. I was not totally opposed to a, an entire Billie Eilish house myself. Uh, you know, I, th I thought it would have been an, a, 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 an interesting experiment uh, if that was indeed the case. Um, I don't think that is the case, but if, if it was, I thought it'd be an interesting experiment. Uh, but I would be more, uh, you know, open to doing something like this, uh, using her music to sort of, uh, to amplify the sort of uh, female empowerment type thing for the monsters. Uh, I think that would be, that would be perfectly acceptable. Uh, and I sort of really like the idea. So, so, uh, so there is that. Uh, but like I said, uh, I love the Universal Classic Monsters. Uh, I love The Bride of Frankenstein. It's one of my favorites. Uh, it's probably, I think some people actually, I think most people, I should say, prefer to, to uh, or, uh, prefer The Bride of Frankenstein. I kind of don't. I still prefer uh, the original Frankenstein, but I love The Bride of Frankenstein. Uh, I think um, uh, it, is, it, it was a movie that was way ahead of its time. <laughs> I said that earlier about Gremlins too, but it was a movie... Uh, you know, back in the day, it was way ahead of its time. The special effects on that are, are incredible for the time. Uh, it pushed a lot of boundaries. Um, you know, it's just it's the Bride of Frankenstein. Everyone loves the Bride of Frankenstein. Uh, in the house last year, the Bride of Frankenstein was one of the one of the more uh, interesting uses uh, in the house. Uh, you know, she would just pop up, uh, scream at you. Uh, you know, in random uh, places, uh, which was fun. Uh, but I would love to see her get her own house. The brides uh, in the house last year, I, I thought, were one of the highlights for me. Uh, they were always, um, you know, uh, uh, they always brought intensity uh, while walking through their scenes. Um, that would be also cool. Uh, you know, this it would, be, it would be interesting to see a house where the 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 the, the bride of Frankenstein and the and the Dracula's brides, uh, you know, they sort of uh, gang up on the um, uh, on the uh, on the uh, uh, the bigger men of the uh, <laughs> of the Universal Monster World. That could be interesting. I don't know, uh, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, so I think that's all uh, for this week that I wanted to touch upon. Uh, I did want to briefly mention the whole Rona situation, uh, you know, and what my feelings are on that. But uh, rest assured, I'm still going to try and do speculation videos uh, every week. Uh, but right now, the conversation is basically just dominated by, um, you know, whether or not the event is going to happen. And the, the, you know what, people, we, we just don't know. Uh, it's, it's, it's still too early to even you know, really judge what could happen here in September, um, you know, but uh, nobody knows. Uh, you're going to have to take it day by day. People are going to have to be patient. Um, it is what it is, but that's literally been the conversation. There are things that I've been avoiding talking about in terms of speculation this year. Uh, so just uh, uh, for instance, the Haunting of Hill House. Uh, I know that's been speculated since day one. Uh, I talked about the Haunting of Hill House possibly coming to the event last year, so you can look at that video. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to talk about it this year or not. Uh, because it's another one of my controversial opinions. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm gonna if I'm gonna go that way. But um, but that is there. You can watch that video from last year. Um, and I did want to talk a little bit about uh, my sort of fictitious event that I have uh, put together. Um, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, I could do it. I cannot do it. It's there. If you guys are interested or even care uh, what kind of event that I would put on. Uh, but if I did do it, the bigger question is, is how would you want me to do it? Uh, do you want me to reveal uh, like sort of like actual Horror Night style? Uh, you know, maybe one reveal a week, uh, you know, or, or do uh, like maybe two or three videos where everything is just kind of dumped into one thing. Uh, it's up to you guys. I leave it up to you to decide. So, uh, but I think that's it. So Universal Classic Monsters, the, uh, the, the, the Bride, uh, or, uh, or a Universal Classic Monsters, female centric house uh i would love to see that um i just i love the universal classic monsters there's just there's some some of my favorite things like like i said anytime they could use them at the event uh i'd be all gung-ho uh for that to to take place but anyway guys that's gonna be it for me hopefully i got my shit out uh, that i wanted to get out because i forgot to charge my camera battery and it's about to die i can see that on the screen so uh hopefully i got i, I got everything that i needed to get out uh, you know, and, uh, stay safe out there. Continue to not be dicks to people. Uh, you know, uh, you know we're, we're, there are current plans to perhaps start loosening restrictions, but I still think people need to sort of sit tight and be patient, uh, you know, and wait, um, you know, and hopefully this thing will pass. But anyway, that's going to be it for me. And I will talk to you guys next week. Hopefully. Bye. <laughs> I think I got it through again. <laughs>